Hi everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick Seasonal Decor here, and I know my channel is mainly focused on creating seasonal pieces. However, I do want to start incorporating more landscaping videos to show you guys uh, some of the tricks of the trade and what I do in my specific garden. So today what we're going to be planting is two echinacea, also known as coneflower, and these two are a powwow white, and I'll have the link in the description if you are interested in picking up these plants. Uh, so they are one of my favorite flowers of all time. I love echinacea, and there's some herbal uh, properties to it that people use uh, as vitamins and in their tea. Uh, so we're going to be planting two of them today. And the reason I'm not working in an odd number like you typically see me do is because I was un unable to unfortunately find three of this specific variety. So rather than work in three different colors, I am just going to be placing two of these uh, towards the uh, right side of my home, which is a little bit more um, f uh, forgiving, a little bit more garden style where it's not so symmetri uh, symmetrical. So these ones do get rather large, so I am planting them kind of away from my pathway. And I am planting them around some annuals. These annuals will not come back next year for the most part. I do have some that come back, uh, but these ones typically we lose them over the winter. So we are planting around them and not really being too conscious of them because they will disappear, whereas the coneflower is a perennial. So to plant these, what I'm doing is I'm just simply digging out a hole. You'll notice that I'm not adding any fertilizer or any... Uh, uh, nice quality soil and the reason for that is, is that this soil is extremely amended over the years I have been adding compost to it uh, so these two locations do get a lot of nutrients for the echinacea to grow so I am moving the camera a little bit so you saw that we just adjusted it and I'm planting one a little bit farther back uh, so typically this side doesn't get really viewed as much uh, the pathway is in the opposing side so I'm just planting one a little bit further behind uh, to tie in that white a little bit more. So I'm planting it near a spirea, and in the beginning of the video, you did see me move a Japanese maple. That Japanese maple was just placed there uh, until I find the perfect location for it. And this is a full sun uh, location, which Echinacea seems to do best in. So if you are picking up the cone flowers, just make sure that they're in a full sun location. Uh, and one of my best tips when growing Echinacea is to make sure that you remove the foliage after... Uh, it all drops in the fall. These plants are herbaceous, so they do grow to the ground, uh, and all of the foliage does die back every year. So the biggest tip for me is to remove the uh, greenery each spring. That way it doesn't leave any uh, chances of you spreading any diseases or any bacteria or anything that may pose a risk to your plants. So we did plant two of them that you see there uh, at different locations, but I didn't work in three simply because I couldn't find a third one, uh, but I absolutely love these echinacea. And I love the Pow Wow series. They have all sorts of colors. So if white doesn't suit your fancy, feel free to choose a different color. Uh, feel free to mix it up. So now what I'm doing is I'm just watering it. Uh, watering is crucial. As you saw when I was planting these, they didn't have much water. Uh, and the reason for that is, is I water them twice a day. Uh, but since they're just in their containers, it looks like a one-gallon container. Uh, we have such hot sun in this part of the garden where they were sitting. Uh, and they just dry out super fast. So I recommend you water these at least once a day for the first year until they get established. And once they get established, no water is needed after that. So here's just another quick little tour of my garden. What you see right there is Happy Returns Daylilies, the bright orange ones. Uh, and the ones that are a little bit shorter behind are Stella de Oro Daylilies, which happen to be a yellow. Uh, and then we also have some Salvia mixed in, as well as Walker's Low Cat Mint, and some um, Sedum as well. So the Sedum is just a basic Autumn Joy Sedum. And what you see with a lion's face is a structure that I picked up for free. It was a fountain. The fountain has since uh, passed. It did break down last winter. So I just kept the structure to add a little bit height. Uh, but I really like this part of the garden. It is continuously blooming. All of these flowers bloom uh, quite frequently as long as you deadhead. Uh, other than the sedum, everything else is blooming beautifully right now. Uh, I do have to remove a lot of them because they are getting overcrowded. But that was just a quick little tour. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.